What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and as you can see we are in the car so you guys already know we are headed to a local car show here in Louisville, Kentucky. Today is Saturday, May 11th. Very excited to be headed back to a show. Uh, I feel like it's been a long time. I think it was actually the last show I went to was this one last month. Uh, so about a month since I've been to a show. Uh, and this is also the J&J &J All Star Card Show. So the last like three or four shows here in Louisville have been really, really good. So I'm definitely excited to see what this one has in store. I am looking for strictly football. Really, really working on the uh, National Series Fire Packs, which um, the National is in late July. So. Uh, let's see, it's May 11th, got a, you know, roughly like two months to put that together, still got a long way to go, so we are looking for strictly football today, um, and I don't have a huge budget because uh, the Midwest Monster is actually next month, so I want to take a good amount of cash to that show and do a ton of buying there, so... You know, I'm hoping to maybe pick up five to 10 cards today, nothing crazy. Really wanna save for the Midwest Monster, which is a giant show next month. So uh, yeah, we're headed to a card show here in a little bit. I will check back in along the way. All right, guys, so we just pulled up to the show. Uh, it's actually a couple minutes after nine. So again, this show does start at nine. So we're a little bit late. Uh, and judging from the parking lot, it actually doesn't look as crowded as some of the uh, you know shows in the past couple of months. So uh, I'm not sure the turnout. I actually didn't get a text from the uh, promoter you know, telling me that there was over 100 tables. So uh, you know, don't know really what to expect. Looks like a decent turnout. And usually this one does get going a little bit later anyway. Um, so anyway, you guys know what we're looking for. We're looking for football. Uh, again, don't have a huge budget today. Planning on spending 300. That's what I have in cash. Um, and, you know, if I need to spend more, I might, but um, the goal is maybe between like five to 10 nice cars. Looking for rare stuff, numbered stuff, Anthony Richardson, CJ Stroud, those type of guys. So let's go ahead and head on in and we'll see what we can find today. How's it going? One thirty-five. One thirty-five. Okay, I was wanting to be closer to like one twenty. Would you be able to do that at all? I do one thirty. One thirty. Um. 130. Okay, um, I'm gonna hold off for now. I'm just because I'm still working on my first lap, but yeah. uh, I might come back on those. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys, so here is a look at the show today. A little bit lighter today, so I um, haven't really found a ton. It's uh, almost 10, so I've been here about an hour just walking around, talking a little bit, but uh, I know I said I was looking for strictly football today. Uh, the very first card I picked up was basketball, so we're going to be a potential grader, uh, so we'll see how that does. And then I did pick up two football cards as well, but just want to give you guys a quick look at the show. We're going to keep walking around and see what else we can find.
Looks like they they range from like 70 to 110. You know what you want for it? I'm trying to get about like about 80 or something like that. 80? Okay. Basketball too. Uh, Rush land this out and I got that all. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll grab that for 80. There you go, man. Appreciate it. Who'd you get on the teal, Evan Mobley? Yeah, that's my luck, man. I got, I pulled a elephant and it was RJ Barrett. <laughs> yeah, it's not the desired, not the, not the right people. Yeah. Still nice coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't complain too much. Yeah, you can't complain. Can't complain. I pulled an explosive Jimmy Garoppolo. I can't complain. 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 I can't Any chance you do 120 on it? I get the 130. 130. Okay. Um, are y'all cool with Venmo? Yeah. Okay. Ran out of cash. <laughs> yeah, I'd be 130. I like those zooms. Yeah, they look nice. Something different. I just I picked up a McCaffrey earlier. As, oh, did you? Oh, well, I just meant yeah. to be just zoomed out yeah. today. I guess so. so I, all I'm seeing comp wise is on May 4th, there was an auto out of 99 that sold for 16 bucks. Yeah, but it's, an, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's different. It's not the base. All right. The base Got it. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys, just want to check in one more time from the show. It is almost 11, so probably about to head out. Been here about two hours. I uh, got some other stuff going on today, but was ended ended up picking up I think six or seven cards. Again, one basketball, the rest were all football. So those are definitely going to be going in the National Series Fire Packs. There's a look at the show behind me. Again, a little bit lighter today, uh, but you know happy with what we were able to pick up. And we did actually go over budget. Ended up having to uh, Venmo some people, uh, but just want to check in before we leave. Uh, probably walk down another row or two, and then we're going to head out. All right, and we just left the show. It is um, almost exactly 11. So again, I was in there two hours. Walked around a little bit after that last clip, but didn't really see anything else. Um, so again, I said earlier my budget was 300. And honestly, you know, I, I've mentioned already, it's a, it was a little bit lighter of a show. Didn't see a ton of stuff that I was really interested in. Still spent that entire 300 and had to Venmo like another, I want to say 100 or 200, something like that. So definitely went over budget um and picked up i believe five football cards one basketball card i'm going to try to grade um haven't seen the footage or anything so i don't know um i think there was a couple transactions i might have missed so i'll head on home show you guys everything that we picked up uh so stay tuned for that just wanted to give some initial thoughts about the show a little you know again a little bit smaller uh still found some nice stuff and went over budget so let's head home i'll show you guys what we picked up all right, and we have made it back home from the show. So as you can see, not a big stack of cards here. Only six total cards that we picked up, which again, that was kind of the goal I mentioned. I uh, wasn't really planning on spending a ton. Um, I only took $300 cash, and I actually ended up spending more of that uh, or more than that. So, um, you know, I, I'm, I think I also mentioned I, I'm planning on picking up a ton of cards next month at the Midwest Monster. So kind of trying to save up for that. So didn't really want to spend a ton. Um, but happy with the pickups I made. Again, 
the goal was strictly to pick up uh, football. As you guys can probably see, there's a basketball card on top there. I am working on a value bulk submission that I needed a couple more cards uh, to hit that 20 card mark. So uh, I figured I'd pick this one up, send it as part of that. Hopefully it, it can grade. I haven't checked it out yet. Um, hopefully the condition is okay. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, so we did pick up the Brendan Miller Select Courtside Red Ice. And I honestly, I didn't like these. I didn't like the courtside design this year at first, but these have really grown on me. I can't really think of another set that I originally didn't like, and then it's kind of grown on me, and then I did like it. This is really the only thing that I can think of. And I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling the design at first, but now I actually really, really like it. I think it's actually one of my favorite courtside designs. Uh, so let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Be, I would be interested to know if you guys like this one or not. Um, so anyway, Brandon Miller, courtside red ice. Price was 45, ended up getting this one for 30. Uh, I think these were doing about 35 to 40. So a little bit of a discount on that one. And again, hopefully it will grade. Planning on sending that one as part of a value bulk. Um, and speaking of that, I actually recently saw that PSA introduced a new value bulk turbo submission, uh, which is only $5 more per card. So it's gonna be $25 a card. So I'm actually thinking about testing that out. I kinda wanna see um, how fast the turbo submission is compared to the regular value bulk. Um, so we'll see if I end up doing that. Not 100% sure yet. A lot of the cards I am sending are kinda low end. So I would really, really have to get tens for it, for it to make sense. Uh, but we'll see, I might still do it anyway. So anyway, the next five uh, pickups are all gonna be football and they will be featured in that um, National Series Fire Pack, which again, the Midwest Monsters early June, I wanna make the bulk of the remaining uh, pickups at that show. So I know it's kind of the, the next Fire Pack series is labeled as the National Series, but honestly, if it's done in June, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and release it. Um, it, it might be like late June, early July when, when they're ready. So, you know, I kind of always just, I used to release the, my biggest fire pack series of the year at the National. I have stopped doing that because I don't have table space to set up at the National. So they're still just kind of labeled as the National Fire Packs, but I just released them online. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that real quick. They might be ready like late June, early July. And I'm very, very excited. I think I've made some really, really cool additions uh, in, in this year. Still need a really, really big chase card. I want to add in like a chase card around like maybe $1,000. 800 to maybe like 1200 something like that. So I need the big chaser, but there's some really, really nice cards in there. Uh, but anyway, we got the Zay Flowers uh, Mosaic Auto. This one is numbered to, I think that says 149, uh, 199. Um, so price on that one was 70. I ended up actually getting that one with this one as well. Nice color match on the tank Dell red sparkle. So I think he wanted 75 on that and then 70. So that was like 145. And then I think we came to an agreement at 125. Um, so uh, nice little package deal there. Tank Dell Red Sparkle, not numbered, but those came out of, I believe they're like redemption packs. Um, so Zay Flowers, Tank Dell, two of the top rookie receivers. And then we picked up a couple Zoom case hits. Shout out to my guy, Sam. Um, uh, picked up this Christian McCaffrey Zoom from him. I think these are super, super, super cool. Kind of like the, uh, the poor man's kaboom. Uh, so these are really nice. I like these. Uh, so we got the McCaffrey there. And then we also did pick up the Bryce Young as well. Price on the McCaffrey was 80. And those were kind of all over the place. I saw prices anywhere from like 70 to 120. So I thought 80 was pretty fair on that one. And then ended up getting the Bryce Young for 130, I believe. And these were doing... These do about 150 to 160, so not a bad price there. 130 on the Bryce Young. So a couple Zoom case hits. And then finally, shout out to Connor with uh, Connor's and one cards. Uh, man, they I got to give him a, a shout out. I did get this card from him, but he has been absolutely grinding lately, just constantly doing like Instagram story sales and uh, him and his dads, their inventory at shows is just insane. They have a, they bought a crazy Luca collection recently with a bunch of one ones and just crazy Luca rookies. Um, so he, he is just absolutely grinding. I think he's like, 
I don't know, 15 maybe, like super, super young and just has a crazy collection. So shout out to him. But anyway, uh, picked up the Anthony Richardson auto from him. And this one is, uh, it, it's an on-card Anthony Richardson auto and his stuff is just super liquid. So I want to I want to include as much stuff from him and like CJ Stroud as I can because their stuff is just insane. I know going into the national, their stuff is going to be super hot. But I was actually thrown off a little bit on this card because it looks like it's like a facsimile auto. It doesn't look real. Um, so I was kind of you know questioning it at first if this was a real auto, but it is real. It does say this autograph is guaranteed by Panini. Uh, it just, I don't know, for whatever reason to me, it looks fake, but it's it's definitely real. It's a legit auto. Uh, so anyway, shout out to Connor on that one. And that does it for the pickups. Um, you know, nothing too crazy. Just um, five cards for the fire packs, one basketball card. So stay tuned. Definitely make sure you uh, stay tuned for that Midwest Monster Show. Plan it on probably making the most pickups I've ever made at a show. So uh, super excited about that one. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and I will see you soon.